Kashmir has never been an integral part of India and this is a historical fact. We Kashmir will never allow Kashmir to be an integral part of this country. Chahe uske liye aap kyun na lagani pade? This is the time for justice, Krishna. Plebiscite hoga. Tab se aaj tak plebiscite nahi hua hai aur hum sab jante hain ki duniya bhar mein ye mana jata hai ki India is illegally occupying Kashmir. Everybody accepts it. Let us not invade the US. Let us go and invade the European countries because we are a global superpower. And they are saying Kash Kashmir is illegally occupied by India. Hello everyone, welcome back to Brahmach. A subscriber of my channel asked me to make a part 2 of the Kashmir Files analysis. First, I would like to thank my subscriber Rajashegar Swami for the request of the part 2. In this video, we will discuss who is Radhika Menon that's mentioned in the film The Kashmir Files. Number 2. Why Bollywood is anti-India? Before that, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and turn on that notifications. Okay, let's do this. Lots of leftist people and some certain group of Muslims have said that this movie has exaggerated the events. Let me tell you something, the movie has understated the events. If the director makes the movie exactly like the real events, then our country censor board will never let this movie out for public. Okay, let's move on to our first question. In this movie, we have all seen the character of Radhika Menon who gives lectures to the students that Kashmir is not a part of India. You already know the college. It's the JNU College, Delhi. I think you already know who we are actually talking about here. Yes, you got it right, it's Nivedita Menon. She was a lecturer at JNU College. Before that, she was a professor in Delhi University. Also, she was a lecturer at Sriram College for 12 years. So around 15 to 20 years, she has been feeding this anti-Indian narrative to the Indian youth. You can find these kind of teachers and professors in every part of India. I'll put some of them on screen for you. Very briefly tell me, have you heard of Bhakti cult? When did it emerge? 12th century. No, let's go. Century is not even remember. It's like 7th and 8th century. Hai. But what was the purpose of Bhakti cult? Ka? Equality. Tell me something important. Actually, nothing happened. It was Islam. Aa chuka tha. Islam was very liberal. It was talking about equality. No caste system was not. If Islam is ever studied, then there was one that was recently in your news. Mein tha. These people are not teaching the young generation. They are trying to radicalize the youth and turn them against their own nation. After hearing a couple of speeches and lectures, students become puppets of these people. Now you will ask what is the purpose? If you want to break a nation from the inside, all you have to do is brainwash the youth because they are the future of a nation. Okay, let's get back to Nivedita Menon. She calls herself a feminist and she is popular because of the anti-national statements. Nivedita says uniform civil code is anti-Muslim. She also says she is a feminist. But the religion she defends all the time is almost against women's rights. So in my point of view, she is just a fake feminist and she is not a political thinker. Because according to her, Kashmir and Manipur is not a part of India. India is illegally occupying these territories. Yes, it's the same Manipur where BJP won the election with a massive majority. Okay, let's move on to our second question. Why Bollywood is anti-India? Look, the main agenda of the Bollywood is to make the Indian youth, urban exiles, 
anti india anti hindu nothing more nothing less take a look what bollywood focus on hatred towards your own culture young indians started feeling ashamed of wearing traditional indian clothes they make movies that create a hate on people who follow indian culture and rituals after watching such bullshit movies like pk the young generation started falling for this propaganda seeing sadhus and gurus as thieves and thugs am i right or wrong please let me know in the comment section okay I humbly ask each and every single one of you to please watch this film. You will see the heights of violence and foolishness among people in the name of God, religion and also Jannat. And for those who claim Kashmir Files is a propaganda, then I urge you to watch the film Shikara. You will be able to understand what is the difference between a real movie and a stupid propaganda. After watching Kashmir Files, people started realizing the truth and finally a message for jihadis we will hunt you down that's all i have for today i request everyone to please share this video to more people thank you for your patience and it's time for me to take off bye everyone